Hey everyone, welcome back to another Watch Me Do Math video. If you're, if you're not familiar with this already, this is, may seem like a hot take, but radians are not a real unit. You'll find that when you are doing dimensional analysis, that is, trying to figure out whether a quantity seems right because of the units it has, you may find that physicists and mathematicians um, working with radians often omit radians from this analysis. Now why might that be? Surely something like angular displacement would be measured in radians. Surely something like angular acceleration would be measured in radians per second per second. But why aren't the units radians per second per second or radians per second squared? Well, I saw a question like this on Stack Exchange, and I'm going to tell you the answer I wrote out. The radian term does not appear in um, your answer for sort of what is angular displacement, what is, what are the units of angular displacement, what are the units of angular acceleration, because um, the number of radians that an angle is is defined as uh, let me illustrate this. If you have some angle here, like this, the number of radians an angle is is defined as if it sweeps some sector of a circle, it's defined as the length of the arc that it sweeps divided by the radius of the circle. And if it's defined like this, theta in radians is L over R, where L is in meters or in some other unit of distance, and R is also in meters or some other unit of distance, you can see that it's going to have the units of meters per meter, or no unit at all, because meter per meter is nothing, right? Although, whether or not it's appropriate to actually treat a quantity in radians is the same as the same as any other numerical quantity. That's a judgment for you to make, um, depending on the situation. But if you ever have difficulty with this concept, just remember that an angle in radians isn't, although it seems like it has no unit, can it also be thought about as being meters per meter in the sense that if I was x meters away from a circle from the center of a circle, I'd need to run theta x meters. I, I need to run uh, theta x meters to cover that angle, theta. Or to put it in more concrete terms, um, suppose you are thinking about the units of angular acceleration, one over second squared, or, or just per second squared, even though it might seem more intuitive to think of them as radians per second squared. The radian term does not appear because the number of radians an angle is is defined as the ratio of that arc length L to the radius of the sector itself, R. This ratio between two lengths ends up being a dimensionless number with no units as it's a quantity in meters divided by a quantity in meters despite the fact that its meaning may most effectively be communicated with the companion term radians, making it somewhat different from a regular number although not different in the technical sense. So you can think of your answer of just per second squared as meters per meter per second squared. Or in, for or in informal terms, you might think of this as the acceleration in meters per second squared, A in meters per second squared, experienced by some point on a rotating object through its circular path. So say it's, it's one meter away, the angular acceleration is um, pi radians per second, or uh, pi radians per second squared, it would accelerate at pi meters per second squared. If it was two meters away, it would accelerate at two pi meters per second squared. So the angular acceleration is this actual acceleration around the circular track divided by how many, divided by the distance it is away from the center of the rotating object. So it's acceleration per meter away from the center, 
or meters per second squared per meter away from the center. And of course, like before, this meter per meter cancels out, leaving you with units second squ uh, per second squared. So it is, a, it is a difficult thing to wrap your head around for the first time, but it is useful to keep it in mind that radians do not appear in dimensional analysis, although of course it is also useful to label a quantity, a number, as in radians if the situation makes it appropriate. For instance, you're thinking about an angle. So that's all I have today. It's a, it's a pretty short video. Perhaps I'll have another video, but I'm just making this because I thought it would be interesting to share with you guys. And I'll link the Stack Exchange post I made in the comments. Thanks for watching.